this is my lovely handsome fella Matthew. He is a blizzard gecko and uh, he's about two years old and um, almost fully grown. Being a blizzard gecko he comes from Pakistan, Afghanistan, that area and he eats uh, mealyworms and crickets and waxworms, whatever you name it. Uh, as you can see he has a lovely yellow colouring and uh, blue eyeshadow. <laughs> uh, most people think geckos are the type that um, have suckers and can climb up walls and you know just chilling on the ceiling but uh, Matthew he can't, he can't climb to save his life because you see he has claws he doesn't have the suckery things like the other gecko so unfortunately uh, he's not very good and uh, yeah he, he attempts to climb but uh, no, he <laughs> can't climb. <laughs> um, most people ask me uh, why are their tails so fat? Because uh, as you can see, they have quite chubby tails. <laughs> um, but one of the signs of a healthy gecko is a fat tail because um, when they're eating well, they store their fat in their tail. And an unhealthy gecko would have a small tail, a very thin tail. So people might think, oh, you know, you've got a fat gecko, why are you feeding it? But uh, that's just normal for a gecko, really. Another thing people ask is, do they bite? They get quite scared when they're holding them, like, oh, is he going to jump off me? Is he going to run away? Is he going to bite? But uh, he's very friendly. And uh, no, he doesn't bite. And uh, he's actually much uh, faster than my other one, my uh, my lizard one, Le uh, Lenny. He just likes to sit around and uh, he's quite lazy. Whereas Matthew, who is always like, <gasps> New stuff to check out, going around, what's what's over here, what's over there. <laughs> He's quite a feisty one. Say hello. Yeah. They uh their skin it's quite um hard on the outside but uh on their bellies. Their bellies are uh, incredibly soft. So they're quite cute. Most people would, uh, they've never really seen a gecko like this before, because as I said earlier, you know, they think of them as the ones that are green and have like red tongues that like stick out and grab flies and stuff. But uh, yeah, they're really good for first time pets because they're, uh, they poo in the same place every time <laughs> and they don't make any noise and they sleep a lot of the time. And unlike bearded dragons, they, uh, they don't need much attention. They, uh, they like to be on their own. But, um, I definitely uh, think they feel safe around me. I mean, when new people they meet new people, they always seem a bit scared and a bit hesitant. Whereas, um, I think they're kind of used to me. Um, I used to be scared to pick them up because, uh, as you can see, they're always running around. But um, yeah, you get used to it as you get as you uh, have them more. Aren't you beautiful? One of the most cutest things you can ever see in a gecko is when it yawns because they have the hugest mouths ever and when they yawn it's just like, oh. They're uh, nocturnal so uh, yeah they're always sleeping during the day but then at night they're always up and about you know searching around. This is this is one of my two because I have two. My other, my other one is a, is a leopard one he has lovely leopard spots on him and he's called uh, Lenny and uh, he's the brother of this one. But they don't exactly get on. <laughs> so you're gonna say goodbye before you jump off my knee. You're going, aren't you? I know you are. You little explorer. Say goodbye. Bye.